Hello friends, welcome to the session of Matplotlib. Today we will be talking about scatter plots. So let's get started with the tutorial. As you can see, I have already imported our package of Matplotlib as PLT and our magic function of inline. And these are our two variables x and y which we will be plotting as an example. Now uh, scatter plots are mainly used to study the relationship between any two given variables. In this case, our given variables are x and y. So the command for uh, scatter plot is very simple. Let's say plt dot scatter. And first you pass the variable for x axis. In this case, that is x. And then you pass the y axis. In this case, that is y. And you say, so you can see that we have a plot of these two variables and these two variables appear to be linearly dependent to each other as the values are increasing uh, as you tend to move across the x-axis okay so if you want you can change the color of this graph you can say that you want in green so you can get this in green okay you want to increase the size of the dot s equal to 100 so this gets you your graph and if you want to study a little much more clearer you can always call grid method plt dot grid that gives you grids grid lines so that you can plot your values approximately or accurately okay now another case may come if you want to plot multiple variables okay like in this case we have one set of values as x1 and y1 and the other as x2 and y2 and we want to plot these in a single plot so how can we how can we do this let's see we will have to say plt dot scatter and first we want to plot x1 and y1 okay and we want their color to be green okay similarly we want to plot x2 and y2 and their color i want as blue okay so let's look at our plot now as you can see we have this plot these two variables are linearly dependent to each other as they have a linear relationship as you can see now to segregate these values to study them we can also use a parameter that comes as marker now if you want to change this circle to something else if you want let's change them to this asterisk sign okay and for this you can say marker equal to x okay now let's see them now you can see that these values are quite different in the pictorial format all right uh, now uh, one more thing there is an option of alpha parameter okay now what this alpha parameter does is it says it's 0 0.6 okay so this one is of green now what it does is it uh, controls the shade of your plots okay and you say alpha here to be 1 so blue is much darker okay you can see this and if you say alpha equal to zero, the plot disappears for blue, as you can see this, okay? So what I find is 0 0.6 is suitable, okay? And when it comes of size, obviously you can change the size as 100 or whatever you want. Size of 100. So you can do this now let's uh, 
put uh, labels to our graph okay now say plt dot x label okay we know that x label is the variable of x okay and for plt dot y label is a variable of y okay so you can see we have this label and uh, <clears throat> one more thing uh, to avoid confusion as to what plot this green one belongs to and what plot this blue one cross belongs to you can apply here label parameter okay now label you can say for your green one that is your for x1 and y1 so you can say it is a plot between x1 versus y1 okay similarly for your second one it's a plot between x2 versus y2 and to put your label command you need your function of legend to execute that and you can see that it is clear on this picture okay and similarly in like in the above example i showed you you can apply your grid parameter so you can always say grid so that your graphs become much more easier to study all right uh, so this is the way uh, this is some of the parameters which uh, you can use in your scatter plots and to represent values in a scatter plot so, all right friends uh, let's come to the next part now let's pull out a real data set and let's practice our skills of uh, scatter plot on that so i will be showing you a data set of a house price okay so let's look at this data set now we have a data set that belongs to the house prices in this column with their respective living areas number of bathrooms bedrooms lot size age and fireplace okay now we will what we'll do is we'll study the dependency of each variable on price okay so let's say that we want to first study the linear dependency of price and living area that is how they are correlated so we can study them by the use of scatter plots so let's say plt dot scatter and in the x-axis we want our living area okay so we will name the, the name of the data frame that is df and the name of the variable within quotes that is living area okay comma on the y-axis we want our price variable all right so you can see that this is the scatter plots and it is somehow depicting that it is of a linear relationship as we can see a somewhat line going through it okay now let's uh, make it a bit simpler by saying changing the color okay now let's change its color to green okay and let's make it a little bit lighter so that you can observe the granularity so alpha is 0 0.6 okay so here you can see that the most of the data points are lying between this area okay and as the value of your x-axis that is the living area is increasing similarly are the prices increasing so they are positively correlated so let's let's put a title to our graph plt dot title and this graph belongs to uh, living area versus your price okay and you have 
plt.x label your x axis as your living area and your y axis that is y label as your price okay so this looks much clearer now if you want to remove this extra piece of information you can do plt dot show so that goes away okay so this is a graph between living area and price now let's plot a graph between price and the age of the house let's look at the feature of age how does age affect the price of the house okay so we want our plt dot scatter in the x-axis we want our age so the data frame df with variable age and on the y-axis we want data frame as price all right so we have this uh, let's do some argument changing here let's say that uh, we want a color of blue okay and let's apply our marker let's change its marker we don't want this circle we want this as let's say where x okay and let's put down a shade okay let's say alpha equal to 0 0.6 all right and if you want to change the size of the markers you can say size is 100 so this looks much cleaner now now you can see that this graph is showing uh, the lesser values towards the right more of the values are towards the left so what this is showing is that the price which is on uh, the y-axis and the age that is on the x-axis the lesser the age is the higher the price is okay as as soon as the age increases of the house as you can see the cost of the house is decreasing all right so let's label this graph let's put a title on this plt dot title as your uh, price age versus price okay and similarly your plt dot x label as your age variable and your plt dot y label as your price okay and similarly if you want to delete this information you can say plt dot show so you can see this graph of age and price of a scatter plot all right so guys this is the use of scatter plots mainly to study the linear relationship between multiple variables so it becomes very handy tool in matplotlib so this is it guys this is all we had for the scatter plot tutorials and i hope that uh, you find it in interesting and uh, i hope that you would subscribe the channel and like the video and in the meanwhile if you have any more queries i'll be happy if you shoot down it as your comment thank you